operator to reach He's now adjusting the um, upper rollers for a thicker material. First thing he does is he'll open up the upper roller as he rotates the knob clockwise. It makes the rollers come farther apart. Now he has room to slide the thicker material in. He's going to rotate them counterclockwise and close the gap between the two rolls so they'll pull through under power. That's not been a major issue. He just he brings the, uh, the rollers together, then he takes out the material and gives it about another half a twist. That'll be just about right for the um, rollers to grip the material, the thicker material. This one's for the top chamber. Notice the power rollers pull the material all the way through. It's not necessary to feed it by hand. You just start the material, and no matter how long it is, the material will be pulled through. It can't be a coil, of course, but it can be up to two or even up to two and a half meters long. And it automatically shut off, turn it up, and then it has... Here's the outboard support. For wider sheets. That's what I'm going to be doing right there. If you have wider material, it works, and if you have real long stuff, you just put a table on either side, or you have two people. Gotcha. And that's, that's kind of empty. Beautiful. You're a movie star. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Probably was in the middle of your camera. No, you were just Locking where I wanted you. you. Oh, okay. You were just where I wanted you to be. Now the operator is adjusting the size of the chamfer, and what he'll do here is loosen up the tool arm, make the adjustment, bring the blade out a little bit farther, and then locks it back into place. This will make the chamfer just a little bit bigger. Once he's made that adjustment, the chamfer will stay the same size until he adjusts it again.